My name is Aileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and today we're going to be talking about the challenges a space probe will have on the planet Mercury. So first let's talk about the orbit of Mercury and the temperatures in Mercury. Let's say we have the Sun, we have its orbit, and here is Mercury. Now we define a year and the time that it takes Mercury to go around around the Sun. One year in Mercury is equal to 86.9 days here on Earth. And I will be using the circle with the cross in the center to symbolize Earth. And the other thing that we need is how long is a day on Mercury? So this is how long it takes to go around its own axis. So one day on Mercury is equal to 58.6 days on Earth. So as you can tell, a day is pretty much a year. And in fact, three days on Mercury is equal to two years on Mercury. What does that mean for the temperature on Mercury? It means that for 30 days is exposed to direct sunlight, and for 30 days the other side is, is exposed to no sunlight at all. That means that the temperature fluctuates from minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can tell, it's very cold and it's also very hot. When we send a probe, when we build a probe, it has all these instruments full of technology and to find the materials that will adapt to extreme cold and extreme heat is very difficult. So generally the design process will be a very serious and very difficult process to find all the materials that can actually adapt to being in Mercury. So that's the first challenge. The second challenge is going to be finding an orbit around Mercury. So as you can tell, we're very close to the Sun. The gravitational force uh, near Mercury is twice the gravitational force around Earth. That means that any satellite that is approaching the Sun is going to be pulled into it. So finding a stable orbit around Mercury without falling into the Sun will require an extraordinary amount of fuel, which is very difficult to carry and also very cost, it costs a lot. The third challenge um, is the atmosphere. Generally, when we have a probe and we are throwing it from the satellite, we need something that breaks the fall. Otherwise, all of your equipment will be destroyed at impact. Generally, we use the atmosphere to have air breaking. So the drag produced by the atmosphere will cause the probe to slow down. Mercury does not have an atmosphere as it all has been evaporated from the sun. So what that would require is that the probe will have amount of fuel that will propel down to keep the probe from crashing into the ground. It would also require a very demanding design for landing mechanisms. And those are the three main challenges that a space probe will face on planet Mercury. I'm Aileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist. Oh,